In this video, you're going to learn how to create and use an Arduino account that you can use to write or upload code to run each of the Make Create projects that you receive. So go, let's go ahead and get started. The first step is to head to the Arduino Create website to make an account. So in your browser, go to create.arduino.cc. Then on the next screen, choose the Arduino web editor icon to get started. At the login screen, choose sign up to create your account. Then make up a, a username and a password and enter your email. Be sure that you remember that username and password because you're going to need them every time you log in to create a new sketch for your make create projects. Notice that there's an I'm not a robot box at the bottom of the screen. You're going to go ahead and check that and you'll get a small test that will verify that you're a human. Once you've completed the test and hit verify, you can then hit the create account button. Once you've done that, you'll get an email that will help you activate your account. Once you click that link in your email to activate it, go ahead and head back to create.arduino.cc. Choose that web editor again, and now use the username and password that you just created in order to get yourself logged in. In order to run on your computer, you need to install an Arduino driver. So we're going to click through several screens now to help us get, make that happen. First, start with hitting Agree. And then if you don't want to get newsletters, uncheck the box, click Next, and click Download Plugin. This will begin the download process to your computer. Once that file finishes downloading, you're going to need to go ahead and open it up. So click on it at the bottom of your browser or find it in your folders on your computer. Get it opened up and then a whole series of windows are going to start to open for you. On each of these, you'll either click Next or Yes or I Agree. And this is going to walk through the process of installing that driver to the correct folder on your computer so that everything is all set the next time we need to go in and make a new sketch. Once that thing finishes installing, you can click Finish. You'll go back to the browser at this point, and you'll be able to hit Next here. And that's going to take us to a screen where we one more time get to log in to that account and test things out. Now that everything's installed, we're going to go back and log in one more time using our username and password. And we're going to actually run some tests to make sure that our board can connect to the computer and that everything is working properly. So this will give you your first glimpse of what the coding environment looks like. You'll see it open up and you'll see a blank sketch there. What we want to do is actually hook our board up. So go ahead and grab your Arduino and your USB cable from your starter kit and connect to a USB port on your computer. Once you've got that hooked up, the coding environment should actually start to recognize your board. So you'll know that that's happening when you see some words pop up on the right hand side of your screen saying that your board is connected. Once you know that that has happened and your board is connected, you can then actually go to the drop down menu at the top of the screen, click on the arrow and you should see the correct port. Make sure there's a check mark there. And again, the, the coding environment will recognize that your board is now connected. There are a series of code uh, programs already installed on in this environment and so we're going to choose one of them by clicking examples and then clicking on blink and that's going to open up a program that's been uh, pre-written for us we're going to dive really deeply over the course of your next several projects into how coding works so we won't talk about that here but for now just again go back up to the top of the screen make sure that your arduino is highlighted and then the check mark on the left will verify that the code is correct. We're going to skip that step and actually just hit the right arrow to upload the code. Wait a few seconds while it uploads to our board. 
you'll see it at the bottom of the screen that that's happened successfully. And now if you look over at your Arduino, you should see a yellow light that's blinking on and off. And that indicates that everything is working correctly. So congratulations, you're now ready to start coding and or uploading sketches and making all of your, your Make Create projects come to life.